Let's actually go to the environment and make a nice clean white background. The environment is still uh, interacting with this model as if it was it was there, but when you overlay like a white background, it just makes a white, nice white seamless background. So back into this particular this particular model piece uh, for the headband. Since it's white, we're working on white on white. That is often very difficult. Um, let's just change it to plastic real quick and I'll show you what I mean. So if you change it to like a pure white, you can see that the edges of this uh, headband actually starts getting lost into the background and you wanna create some definition for that, especially for white products. A good way that I found to work with this is that if you actually use a gradient, um, you can go into the material graph and inside the material graph, you can right click just right inside this window, go to textures and color gradient. And you're gonna take that and link it into the diffuse part of the plastic node. Kind of organize this a little bit. And then when you double click into the gradient, what you would want to do is select uh, the probably your end color that that's uh, the color that you want to choose for the headset. The white that I've tested beforehand. Let's go to the hex code. The headband I have at FFFF, which is the pierce of white, and then on the opposite side, I have it set to kind of a grayish color. And we can preview kind of like what we're looking at, uh, maybe a little lighter. All right. And then the magic happens when you actually change the gradient type. You change it to view direction. And uh, view direction is very strong because it actually changes the gradient based upon the angle that you have the camera set at. And this is great because when you're looking at its angle, it creates that gray kind of outline along the edges to kind of better define the product on a white on white background. And this is really useful whenever you're trying to put white products onto a white background. And if you're trying to achieve this um, using practical, practical photography, you often have to use like mini modifiers or even like scrims or black um, cardboard or black uh, foam core to kind of create this, this edge shadow, but it's super easy in Keyshot by creating that, by just adding a gradient and changing it to the view angle.